Good afternoon, guys. It is Gina, Nailed It DIY Studio Hickory, and along the side of me, as has been all week for our amazing Tween Week series, we have the beautiful, the lovely, the ever-talented, and wonderful, amazing Madison. Madison! All right! So guys, we are so excited for you to be joining us again today for our final, can you believe it's Friday? Shout out to Friday, whoop, whoop. Come on, Maddie, come on, Maddie. Can't leave me hanging, oh yeah. Okay, that was a little too enthusiastic, but we're gonna forgive her because, you know, like I said, she's just a great helper. All right, so the final Tween Week series here that we are bringing to you guys. What is that face she's making? So we are um, super excited, but also sad that it's our final Tween Week series. So who knows? what we may come up with next because if you are someone who follows my Facebook page then you must by now have figured out that you can never possibly ever tell what we may be up to next. So let's talk about what we're doing today because we are so excited about this. So we are doing some geometric art painting. So let's talk about the supplies that you need to have gathered. First up, one of our favorite, it's a staple of DIY, construction paper. All right, what else do we need, Maddie? The holy, I don't even know how to describe it. That's the called precious, precious painter's tape. Painter's tape, okay, if you don't have it will work as well. You need some type of paintbrush. We are using a foam brush, or you could use any kind of paintbrush, and then Paint! Okay, so special trick and tip with the paint for this project. Tell us what you got to do with the paint, Maddie. So you have to add water to it to make sure it's not too thick. All right, so you want to fan it down just a little bit by adding just a little bit of water to your paint colors, okay? So once you put your paint in a little cup or a little plate or whatever it is that mm -hmm. you're using, then you want to definitely um, add a little water, stir it around, mix it up, okay? So first things first. In order to do um, this project today, you start with your construction paper and tell everybody what you're gonna be doing, Maddie. So I'm gonna be taking the paint and just tape. Okay, tape, if I can get tape. it out. And I'm just gonna like randomly stick it around in different places. All right, so here we see, we're, we're scooching down here so you guys can see what's going the on. The awkward scooch. The awkward scooch. Okay, we are randomly as Maddie put it, sticking down tape. Okay, so. Watch your face there, lady. Yes, please don't tape my face. All right. So the random tape sticking down, is is it complete? Have you randomly stuck down all of your tape? Maddie? Yep. Yes, that is confirmed. Okay, so that's step number one. And guys, there's there's no right or wrong here, okay? So you just put it down in any way, shape, or form that you want your tape to be, okay? So that's your first step. And then, Maddie, show them what they're going to do next. We're okay, going to scoop so the camera down here. You're going to take your paintbrush and some of your paint and dip it down in there and just paint whatever spots you want around the paper with that color. Okay, so you can see what she's doing there is she's painting in each of the, well, these happen to all be triangles, so you're, she's painting inside of each of the taped areas, okay? So that's what she is doing, and um, let's show you that again. So here is, here she is painting in um, a couple of those sections, and um, you can do any colors that you want to for this particular project, for this particular activity. Hey guys, if you're just now joining us, one of the keys again with your paint, um, as you're working on this particular DIY geometric art painting, is you've gotta water it down a little bit, okay? So Maddie has her paint colors here. Let me show you guys again what she's doing. So she's just painting her sections. So first step, construction paper. She put down her um, painter's tape. If you don't have painter's tape, then 
Hello. If you don't have painter's tape, then um, masking tape works really well for this project as well. You want it um, scotch tape. I've never tried it with scotch tape. I don't think scotch tape would be the best choice simply because um, you want it to to be a little more durable than that. And you definitely don't want duct tape. Okay, I know we, we live in the South. And I know that many of you out there have, hey Chad, have a deep and true affection for duct tape. Don't use it on this project because we're going to remove the tape. And so if you're using duct tape, it sticks too strongly and you're not going to be able to remove it um, from your painting. And what you're going to have is a torn um, mess and it's not going to be art. So don't do that, guys. Don't resist. Resist the duct tape. All right, so again, the painter's tape. So you can see right now, she's got um, two of her, four of her sections painted, and now she's going to her last color, and she's painting in those sections as well. So I'm going to let her finish doing that. While she's working on that, I want to show you guys um, one that Madison has already done for us earlier. So look at this. Isn't that cute? This is what you're going to be left with when you peel the tape off. So how fun is that? So everywhere the tape is, of course, is going to be left um, showing as whatever your construction paper color is. So she used white construction paper there. Um, and so you can see the painter's tape once you peel that up. This is the artwork that you have left behind. So we'll see here in just a moment. Now, it's definitely recommended, and we're trying to do this in a hurry for you guys, but it is definitely recommended to let that dry um, first before you peel the tape off. So that way um, you, you know, it's, it's good and dry, and it's just a little less messy to do that. As you can see, we have down underneath us some brown paper some um, that we use here in the studio. So if you don't have anything like that at home, you know, put down a, a newspaper or um, a grocery store paper or something underneath just to protect the surface of your table. And again, this is what you're going to have, um, something along those lines. So how cute is that? Super fun, very creative. We want to show you guys one other project that you can order for from us for Take and Makes. This is our canvas bag, and we did um, Maddie's monogram on that. So this is um, something that's available on our website under Take and Make Projects. Right now, we are showing design choices for the bunnies, but if you want to do a monogram, all you've got to do is put that in your comments, and um, first, middle, and last name, and we will make that monogram design for you on the canvas bag. So, Maddie, are you ready to pull off the tape? It's not bad. <laughs> Don't you love it? She's such a good listener. Johanna, great job out there, Mom. I'm her aunt. Shouting out to my sister-in-law. What a great direction follower. Okay, Maddie, we're going to break the rules. Okay? I know. I might get crowded. It's okay. We're going to break the rules. Peel the tape, girlfriend. Everybody wants to see what you have created. So let's watch. This is just Fascinating. ASMR. I know. She's peeling off her tape. Uh oh. Okay. We're going to come back up here because, as you can see, it's best not to break the rules. We don't oh, recommend gee. that here at the Nail DIY. <laughs> you know, always it. listen to Mouse and the Nail DIY Studio. But I really wanted you. So here's what we'll do we'll take a picture of it. We'll post it in the comments later. Again, this is something along the lines of what you're I've, I've got it going. I've got it going, guys. Hold on. Hold on a sec. Hold on. Johanna, break the rules with me only. Got it. <laughs> Hello, Ella. So glad you're watching. Okay, so here's what you guys need to do. Do one of these this Ratchet. afternoon. Ratchet. <laughs> Ratchet. Madison. No! All the love to Madison here. Okay. So you guys this afternoon, make one of these at home, let it dry, because we love rules, right? Madison has right, told us. This is what you get for rule breaking. <laughs> this is what you get. Don't do it at home, kids. Don't do it. Okay. So we definitely advise drying. But let it dry. Peel your tape. Hmm. Who's right? Who's right? Take a picture of it. Post it in the comments. Because we want to see your creativity. So this is a fun, easy, um, easy to do geometric art painting. We hope you guys enjoy it. We have loved having you join us for Tween Week um, this week. And again, 
stay tuned. Watch our Facebook. You never know what we're going to come with, come up with next. So have a great afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Um, Don't break the rules. And simple moral of the story. Clearly, we have all learned here today the importance of not breaking the rules. Okay, Katie's got a question. How much are the bags? The bags are 25 regardless of the design that you get. And if you want more than one color with those, you can certainly get um, more than one color with our canvas bags as well. So have a great afternoon, guys. We are saying goodbye, and we thank you for joining us. Listen to Maddie. Always follow the rules. Don't the break the rules. Don't break the rules. Be good, kids. All right. We miss you guys. We'll see you in the studio soon, we hope. Bye-bye. <laughs>